Hello, everybody. Welcome back to How Come. I am so excited for this episode. It was not supposed to be this week's episode, but like in the grand scheme of things, it was supposed to be. Do you know what I mean? Like we had a whole thing recorded and then Tech New or whoever was like, no, that is not going to happen this week. Um, so we had my friends and comedians so talented um, from the We Are Having Gay Sex podcast Ashley Gavin and Gara Lawning. You might know them. Uh, Ashley was on this podcast before. She's our first repeat guest. Um, and Gara is Ashley's youth in the booth, um, which they will tell you about um, on this episode. But yeah, um, I'm so excited to have them here. And uh, that's, that's, uh, that's kind of it. Um, thanks for being here and being companions. I love you. Um, and yeah, if you're ever like out of how come episodes, listen to we're having gay sex. Cause it's so, so funny. And I love these two and you guys are going to as well. And if you like this podcast, you know, I would love to hear from you, whether it's in an Instagram post or a message, or maybe you're looking at your phone right now and you're thinking, I haven't rated or reviewed or subscribed. Could we do that now? That would be so fun. Okay, go to iTunes or what's it called? Apple Music. What is it called? I don't know. Open that purple thing. Search how come. Yeah, type out the whole word because it's not going to show up. I know. I know. Then press enter and like for a second you're like, does this podcast even exist? And yeah, thank God it shows up. Um, click on it. Now scroll down, 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 down. Now click rate five stars. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, and leave a review. Um, maybe you could pause right now and think of like whatever you want to say, um, or do it at the end of this episode. I think I remind you again. Um, some of the reviews this week that were left are so funny. One person was clearly making fun of me, but in like a cute, like, I love you way. Um, and verbatim said what I suggested to maybe write. Um, it says, as the subject, informational and funny. Um, this is a very sex positive podcast. Everyone should listen to it. Oh my God. So sex positive and funny. No, but for real, I love Remy and everything about this. So cute. Like, I love that. And also, I don't know if I read this one, but this one was just, this podcast is the best in caps. And then the subject was, yes, cuties. And I was like, yes, we are. Cutie companions are the cutiest. Um, so yeah, Ashley Gavin, Gara Lawning, amazing comedians, follow them, listen to them. Um, this episode's going to be awesome and yeah, get pumped. How come, how come, how come I can't achieve, how come I can't achieve, I'm rolling up my sleeves, I'm rolling up my sleeves, oh baby I believe these guests can help. Cause I can do it by myself. I wanna just Welcome, Ashley Gavin. Hey, hi. And Gara Lonning. Hi. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm pumped. It's very exciting. Robin, of course, is also here. Hello. We did not intend to have these two on this week, but yeah, they came in last minute when we realized this week's episode had been corrupted. We found out this news on Friday the 13th, which was yesterday, which is apparently, I heard, a good day for womb havers. Like anybody with a womb who's like <laughs> tied to the moon, like it's a really nice magical day for us. And okay. my one of my friends sent it to me like earlier in the day. Do you remember Sarah Mendy Afkami, my friend who I had on this podcast? They told me like, something good is gonna happen. And I was like, okay, um, but yeah. It's it's bad, but it's good for we're really excited. Wow, you said womb havers, <laughs> and I truly did not know who you're talking about. I was like womb havers, people with who wombs. Is that? I know yeah, that's what I. Yeah, I thought that I, was an interesting. It's our day. Uh, the magic like, shit's gonna happen. <laughs> womb havers. <laughs> yeah, and the magic shit did happen. Um, and yeah, so I think everything happens for a reason, and I'm so excited to have you guys. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to have you here. Uh, yeah, back like back. In season two, we had Ashley on for an episode called We're Having Gay Sex, and it was before you had launched your podcast. And now, yes. no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that? 
No, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So now we are um, post launch, way post launch, and you guys have been doing the podcast for a while now, and it's blown the fuck up. So congratulations yeah, sort of. about I think that. What? Stop <laughs> Thank it. You. Stop it. <laughs> I want I'm more. Ruining I want more. everything. <laughs> I'm never satisfied. I understand. Yeah, that's true. Ash but is a yeah. Scorpio, though. So I, mm-hmm. I, I feel that way with like all comics is that we're never satisfied. But like right. verifiably, you guys have like a great fan base. Gara has a, a fan page. You like, know, Nana Baby Gara. That I've seen. Yeah, Baby Gara. I love Baby Gara. Baby Gara, if you're listening, I love you. <laughs> so much <laughs> baby Gara is definitely listening oh for sure <laughs> and i love them so much yeah um but ashley basically like how how has your life changed since launching the pod oh my god overnight yeah i mean i've been doing comedy at the time for like six years and I, I, not to toot my own horn but like well doing comedy yeah. well yeah Very to funny. your own horn yeah and and just like making no traction in the industry basically and then I started this podcast and it you know did practically what it felt like it blew up overnight um Mm -hmm. I feel like it's been sort of steady growth but it it was just I guess right out the gate pretty big um we're having gay sex is the name of the podcast It's a comedy podcast you don't need to be gay to listen to it we have lots of straight guests Mm -hmm. all different types of people um it's a lot of fun uh, but that being said, it, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, now, like, I'm just treated so differently and it's great to be treated by differently, <laughs> but this is why it's so great. You get treated yeah. different by other comics, mm-hmm. other comics, all of a sudden kissing your ass and being like, <laughs> oh, you're so funny. It's because like, because you have these like were a the... big TikTok following. Yeah. I'm like, these are the same fucking jokes, you asshole. I've had this material forever. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I don't know. It's just. But also, was it online? Because like I feel like before, like before, like a few years ago, like none of us put our shit online. It was like you yeah. don't do that unless you have a special. And then... yeah, no, it wasn't really online at all. Yeah, and TikTokers go crazy for live comedy videos. Seriously, mm-hmm. they they it's really insane. like them. Insane, they love mm-hmm. them, especially the crowd work. I think they really enjoy watching improvise moments, owning idiots in the audience. Yeah, those are the best I'll put online because I'm never going to use that again. It's like, what am I going to do with that? Where else would it go? Yeah, Yeah. no, it has to go online where other people can enjoy the yell. They're good yells. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, people love to like hate Ashley on TikTok. Just like stupid. What? uh, Like 14 year old boys just like end up in the comment section. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not saying she has like an army of people that love her. And then these just crazy like. 14 year old boys that are like oh this is funny you think this is funny Mm -hmm. and it's so nuts they just don't they don't like um hearing a woman uh be strong like Like, they're a joke that just has nothing to do with them like they're like this is a universe that totally passes the Bechdel test all the time yes yeah Yeah, you're right you're right like that sucks (laughs) they don't get it I don't understand that (laughs) I'm not the I don't see myself (laughs) yeah I've started Uh, speaking to my trolls and I think a lot of them think that I hate men is what I hear in the conversations. mm. They think I'm like contributing to this, like kill all men agenda. And it's like, well, if you saw my other videos, I, I yell at women too. I yell at anyone (laughs) being stupid at my comedy show. If you talk during my comedy show. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Non-binary people. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Yeah. You don't need a gender for me to yell at you. (laughs) A pansexual yeller. A pan yeller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and then so Gara came on, because we had Ashley on solo, and it was, I think, before you had decided that Gara was going to be the youth in the booth. Correct. This was so early. I thought I was going to have a rotating youth in the booth, and Gara mm-hmm. was just too good to let go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Though I sat, we went to go get pizza after one recording, one of our first recording sessions, and we sat down and ate pizza. And Ash is like, So I think I'm going to, like, you know, do a rotating youth in the booth. I said, No, you won't. <laughs> and she goes, Are you being me right now? And I said, Yeah, I'm trying to pull you. No, you won't. I'm the best. You're like, she goes, This is monogamy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, Wow, you're really pulling a me. So respect. I love it. Can you explain to everybody who doesn't? know what a youth in the booth is you want me to explain it hell yeah I feel like you you created it though that'd be like if frankenstein's monster was explaining what a monster do is. it do <laughs> it and me 
Yeah. Like, the youth in the this booth. This part it's... of me comes from a man named <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the youth in the booth is more of an idea. It's more of kind mm-hmm. of a like a like a style. I don't really know what it is. People will message me sometimes and be like, "You're my favorite youth in the booth." I'm like, "There's more of me. Where are they?" <laughs> 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 like, excuse me. <laughs> it has become a term for our younger fans. Like uh-huh. people get youth in the booth merch if I and I call them the youths in the booth. But basically, the youth in the booth in concept was. I loved the idea of like old school shock jock radio with like the sound effects and how there was like a main guy and then yeah. there was like a sidekick. Yeah, and the sidekick. Like, oh, you can't say that. Yeah, yeah. The sidekick's <laughs> like, oh, there you go again. Yeah. There he goes again. And I thought, what if we like made a lib, like a super snowflakey liberal? Because it's a gay sex mm-hmm. positive podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's not going to sound like other radio, but I was like, what would like the liberal equivalent be and I thought oh a youth like who wants to keep you from getting canceled like Mm -hmm. the sensitive youth in the sound booth and and that's um where I came up with the idea and Andy Richter was already booked so yes um, yeah actually then went to me yeah it's just a sidekick yeah but although someone some people get mad that I that someone wrote a review and was like, why isn't Gara a host? Cause I say right. sidekick and like the right. description and it's like, you don't really understand what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. Like you are still allowed Gara. to talk about as much as they want to. Yes. Wow. <laughs> They're really thinking this is like a Yelp review system. They're like, I would like Gara to get promoted. It's like, <laughs> so that's good. I'm glad that you stayed on because I think you're, you're the best youth. Thank you. Top notch youth. A top notch youth. How youth Thank are you? you? How young? Like I think like a thousand, like twelve hundred months. So really, okay. um, yeah, just a 20, tiny little baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like you're in a different generation of, of us. It has it been hard to manage Ashley? Like how many times <laughs> wow. an episode do you have to call her out for something that's like inappropriate? You know, I think earlier on it was like. It wasn't like intense calling out like it was like fun to call mm-hmm. Ashley out because it was fun banter on the podcast. Yeah. No, we don't do it a lot. You don't really mess up a lot ever. Well, that's on I learning, think, right? Yeah, that, and I think, that's I don't on think learning. it's just I don't think it's on learning. I don't think it's on learning at all. Is it on I editing? Think, <laughs> I think Gara, I think Gara has come to accept that. I think Gara is more afraid of getting canceled than I am. And so um. I think. Gara has relaxed a little bit into the notion that we can't, that it's just, if it happens, it happens. That's what I think is happening here. Wow. Well, I also started getting paid at one point. So I was kind of like, okay, I really got to kind of keep, keep myself in check. <laughs> really want to keep uh, getting that crisp check at the end of the month. So uh, <laughs> the Venmo check. So yeah, that's, that's mostly why. <laughs> but it's I think it is nicer to have somebody like in your corner keeping you in check than like it getting to the point that like you've recorded and then the fans get mad together and then they yell at you. And we miss things, too. We have been yelled at not seriously, but mm-hmm. like I think sometimes when we post our clips online, maybe they're mm-hmm. taken out of context and yeah. and someone will be like, oh, that's fucked up and. Yeah. I'll be like, okay, well, go listen to the episode and see if you still feel that way afterwards, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times people are watching the beginnings of your clips and kind of then going to fight in the comments. Yes. Yeah. A lot. Also, like, if I think, Ashley, you just have, like, angry woman at Pinkberry face, you know? Like, <laughs> Thank you I so think, much. like, when people are scrolling through, they kind of, like, expect, like, oh, this fucking girl's gonna go off and, like, say something <laughs> fucked up, and then you don't. <laughs> like, they really think you're kind of, like, they don't getting wait caught on camera. Line. Yeah, I yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I type into. I, I know myself. <laughs> <laughs> Funny lady cop. <laughs> Funny lady cop. I know that you have a younger audience that than you intended to, kind of, because... A little bit. Right, because you started putting stuff on. It's like sixty percent. Yeah, it's like sixty percent under twenty eight, mm-hmm. or maybe more. Maybe like seventy percent. Mm-hmm. It's like ten and ten percent is under seventeen, which is mm-hmm. just cr- wild. That's wild. Yeah. Like okay, so does that ever feel weird when like really young ones? Because like we're talking about gay sex. Like on this podcast, we're talking about a lot of like 
podcasts. I mean, I, on your podcast, we're talking about every type of sex. So people yeah. are going to write in, especially young people who are like learning how to have sex. Yeah. And like, we love that and we want them to learn, but like, does that ever get like confusing with you guys? I don't think about it when we record because yeah. it's sort of like if a parent brings their kids to a comedy show, that's mm -hmm. on, that's your fucking fault. If you're mm -hmm. not monitoring your children, that is not my fault. But I guess the way I've internalized it is, um, I'd rather kids know about gay sex and feel like they have role models and friends and, and something to tap into than feel stuck in the closet and sad. So yeah, yeah. that's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get messages all the time from people, I think, under the age of 18, just being like, I was able to come out as non-binary mm -hmm. because of you. And I just think it's good to have a podcast like this and be able to talk about these things openly, because if I would have listened to this when I was in high school, I'd have been like, wow, this this is really clearing some stuff up for me. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The journey would have been a little shorter. Yeah, maybe like 17 instead of like 20. I don't know. A, a less, that, maybe a little less trauma. <laughs> yeah. Maybe some more comfort too. Like yeah. maybe, yeah. Not, even if you don't come out or figure it out, maybe it just won't feel as daunting. To, yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. And I think we talk about that. Yeah. I also just wish that like I knew more people liked Rocky Horror as much as I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I feel like I was so closeted about that. And then it turns out like, everybody does like yeah. who's Very, yeah. a little bit queer right. um you guys explore everything like across the spectrum and i and we had our little coming out day forum and i know you both told me your coming out day stories i would love to relive that trauma no once I'm, again. I'm not gonna make you <laughs> do that again yeah, because imagine. you guys can get that on patreon.com slash how come mm -hmm. But uh, on that, we mentioned that Gara had two coming outs with sexuality and gender, um, which we know are not the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. So when you came Wait, out. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry. No, <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> you can't tell her that. <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> I've been protecting her. <laughs> Did you have any non-binary like icons that you looked up to growing Big up? Big Bird. <laughs> yeah no i just really loved big bird um i did really love big bird great eyeshadow nice tights <laughs> <laughs> truly truly i honestly had i never heard the word non-binary i think until about three years ago yeah three yeah like i just didn't know but as far as like being androgynous goes i think i was always pretty androgynous mm -hmm. um and like you know looked up to like <laughs> I don't know just like weird I was into musicals so I feel like musicals was kind of like my gateway because you had like men who were yeah. like I'm a manly man that's me <laughs> and I'm like I want to be that guy <laughs> the guy's <who's> singing <laughs> so I feel like that was kind of a gateway yeah 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 I feel like a lot of people must have been so relieved when they first saw a non-binary person in the media definitely i think though like we're kind of approaching this point in the media where like uh this is a weird topic but where um you know what's what's cool and being androgynous is being white and thin like that's that's another mm. hard part is like mm -hmm. people of color and like have kind of i mean they did it first like other cultures did it first and also yeah. like it's just been totally like whitewashed and so yeah. we're just approaching that like where harry styles is like on vogue wearing a dress and it's like totally yes this is awesome but also we always do this we always like hold white people especially thin white people at this like high like pedestal mm -hmm. being like isn't this so cool and then like you know mm -hmm. uh like black trans woman does it and people are like oh i hate that Killer. so i don't know yeah 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 no and then like native americans in yes. this country have been doing it for yes. ever and right. then some people like some white people will be like will use native americans to justify yeah. to be like yeah, yeah. it's been right. around forever but then right. it's still not elevating exactly that part of the conversation right in the history yeah Right. But you are right. It like seeing non-binary people like in the media and just trans people in general, I think it's 
it, I don't even think the media <laughs> realizes how impactful that is to see mm-hmm. like one trans character, like to see the poorly written trans character on the L word. Like, mm-hmm. even though it was such a poorly oh, no. written trans yeah. man, it still He's is literally, like, oh, so bad. <laughs> the, the go to like, don't, don't. Right. Exactly. But yeah, and I'm not excusing that, but I'm just saying that like no, there's but to so still little see that right, exactly. Yeah. It's like something that you can identify with. Right. Um there was we do like a lot of polls on our Instagram and uh we were talking about like the slang term for non binary or like saying like mm. what do you prefer to be called? Yeah. And yeah. because that is such a new conversation, like some somebody wrote me and was like nbs and i was like okay so i wrote nbs and then somebody wrote in saying you don't oh that was that 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 was my fault that was me oh (laughs) i wrote nb for non-binary and uh i i thought it means like uh it's non-black non-black yeah i yeah but also that's like hard because like searching stuff up about that there's also very little information on the internet because it's so new so the conversation has to be what do non-binary people like to be called? Right. Exactly. And some people still are seen by just the letters N and B. And yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird some conversation. Some people suggested E-N-B-Y. And yeah. So I was See, like, N-B, oh, okay. yeah, N-B is like, I feel like a little like cartoon, like raccoon. Right. Yeah. Somebody like a cartoon too. They yeah. were like, no, it's like too cutesy <laughs> and like infantilizing. And I was like, yeah, okay, it's cool. weird. So like. What do we say? (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. like I'm just kind of like waiting because like I want to say the right thing, but I'm also exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's it's difficult for sure. So we just wait until somebody tells you what to say, and Uh, until then, just say non-binary person. Yeah, the non-binary overlords will make it so, and then Mm -hmm. everyone else, which will be a manifesto or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) They'll write it. David Bowie up in heaven. He wasn't yeah. non-binary, but, you know, maybe in heaven he's finally realized this about himself. I feel like he said, I don't know. Well, that's the thing is, like, I feel like people will well, say Well, they wouldn't have like, known what, yeah, exactly. what the term was. You, don't, you didn't have the vernacular. So maybe if he was alive right now, he would be yeah. like, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, my grandmother used to be like, there's a lot more gay people now. And I'd be like, <laughs> no, no, there's just like a lot more people like who are allowed to say they're gay. Right. And, like, <laughs> I um, love that idea, though, that we would just like have like like um, a J. Crew factory just kind of like pumping out. Pumping like, out. Gay people. Yeah. Yeah. There's more people like, without genders. No like they just made with no tag. Anything. Gay is yeah. selling great. <laughs> we should make more gay. Yeah. <laughs> gay is selling great. If they had taught us in health class about not getting pregnant via gay sex. Oh my god, that's You know, smart. like the yeah. only thing they ever taught you about gay sex was like AIDS. You know, right. but like right. if they had been like, "Ladies, if you don't want to get pregnant, let me teach you something." <laughs> yeah. This is Ashley Gavin's phone number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish also that going down on women, like when I grew up, wasn't made to seem so disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, it really, I think they that's really something did that make you guys it seem gross. Do on your podcasts where you make it sound like pretty appealing. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm biased, but I really, there are some lesbians who don't do yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say is I don't think you're biased because there's a lot of guys who, they say that they're straight. They say they're attracted to women, and then they don't like eating puss. Mm, like rude. DJ Khaled. Like it DJ rude. Khaled, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Does he say that? Is he like? Oh a yeah, DJ yes. Pussy you don't guy. remember that? He said that he, he like, was the king, and he would he would not go down on his wife because he's mm-hmm. the king. <laughs> he like Fuck wow. That it. is the most bitch ass thing I've ever heard in my entire. I cannot. Ah, uh, I like. Okay, cancel me, Gara. That sounds. That just sounds like something a a woman would say. Like that. What? Just I don't know what it is about that. <laughs> wow, Remy's gonna Hear cancel you and Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> but it's just like, come on, like, like what is? Suck it up. Like, don't be a little pussy ass bitch. Like, get down there. What are you doing? 
do first of all do be a little pussy ass bitch because pussy is strong amazing and yes 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 blah 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 the fantastic <laughs> yeah 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 not even the uncanceling like i need this for my own brain like i <laughs> cannot think i cannot be told anymore that like women are gross or weak like cuz we're not we're so great or womb havers womb havers, womb havers. <laughs> How do you know I have a womb? <laughs> womb raiders. <laughs> the womb raiders. Yeah. <laughs> they go in with the with the with the with black, black light, light. <laughs> and they're like, there's, oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he said that, and then like a bunch of guys backed him up, and they were like, yeah, like eating pussy is for losers, and I think eating pussy makes you like a real catch. I just can't imagine like a world where it's optional. Like it's just like seems like so. It's it was so optional. Like anything that like you were taught if you were going to hook up with guys is that they probably won't go down on you because they don't like it because it smells like fish. Yeah. And I've never like smelled a vagina and didn't. Maybe I've just been fortunate to like never catch anyone Mm -hmm. on a si on like a sick day because it can yeah. get sick if it gets yeah, sick sure. it's gonna not smell great because it's 100 percent. but like i've never smelled one and thought this smells gross or f like fish ever that is yeah. like the it does not smell like that and also if there is any smell that's like like it's not supposed to smell like a creme brulee hmm. you know, like you're totally. a human being you know like the way that like people's armpits smell like a little bit but like you like them because of right. the pheromones right right yeah exactly. home brew that's your that's your home brew you brewed that <laughs> that morning <laughs> like i used to get so confused 110 I would just, degrees like, s smell my panties and i'd be like yeah, it's musky, but it's nice. Like, why yeah. would anybody dislike this? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Have you That's ever crazy. done that? Had somebody go down on you that you were like, oh, they don't like this? Garrett, I've Ashley? had. Oh. oh, yeah. No, you go. I've had. I, I dated. Yeah. One time. And it was like, <laughs> this is how gay I am. It was like, <laughs> I have. And I continue to hold that information against her. Like the way she reacted. I was like that's fucked up like like mm. she clearly okay. do we talk about um, them on the pod no i won't talk about this on the pod oh got it um but just but, on uh, spot. <laughs> i mean maybe one day in the very far future like very sure. far future and like i can completely uh protect their identity because this sure. was like a yeah. longer term relationship but like they went got down it. on me and i could tell that like they did not like it. They like went into the bathroom and like brushed their teeth like immediately. Yeah. And like, I get like, if you want to brush your teeth, like you don't want to yeah. have the, like go out into the world with like pussy on your mouth. Like that's totally mm -hmm. fine with me. Like that mm -hmm. makes sense. <laughs> but like, I was just like, this is very dramatic. And I have had many women down there and like not one complaint. And if anything compliments, and I was just like, and I know it's in good shape because I've been making sure it's in good shape for this moment mm -hmm. totally and and like i was just like this is so it was so fucked up and i was so upset i was like a little so i was a youth in the booth snowflake like triggered, <laughs> very upset and i feel like oh god i feel like in some ways like straight women are so much stronger because you have to deal with that type of bullshit all the time in your lives and like you just like get used to it yeah yeah and like that had never <laughs> happened to me. Oh yeah. Also same person made a comment about the way my vagina looked first time that it ever happened to me in my life. And I was like, oh. are you? Oh. It took me a long time to shake off that one. And I'm so yeah. blows about it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's wrong. I know she's wrong. I know it's, it's, it's ridiculous, but it was like very, this is the only time, only time yeah. that that ever yeah. happened. Um, and you say that you keep your vagina very in shape. Does that mean tons of grooming? I, I'm, I am a, people have like mixed opinions about summer's Eve because you can clean <laughs> and should clean your vulva. I forget how much you talk about this. You need a sponsorship. What? You can't just be talking about this with no sponsorship. I know I should really, I should really talk to them about you it. I love to. You talk about this too much. <laughs> I love summer's Eve because you can clean your vulva. 
Summer can. Eve. <laughs> <laughs> this is important information. You can sorry, sorry. clean your vulva. You shouldn't clean your vagina, the inside, like go inside of yourself. That okay. will clean itself. But you mm -hmm. can clean your vulva, like get the dead skin cell cells and stuff like that. That like that's what a lot of the smell is. Same thing with men, like dick cheese. That's oh. like dead dead skin cells. Mm -hmm. And um, so you can clean it and using regular soap can fuck up your pH. So that's why I use Summer's Eve. Wow, this really does sound like a... <laughs> and that's why I, Ashley Gavin, use Summer's Eve. <laughs> and I carry Winter, around... Winter, spring, or fall, <laughs> Summer's Eve. <laughs> I carry around... I carry around a pocket sized little wipe inside my wallet just in case. No, I don't it's do like it your anymore. condom. It's, it's like, like my condom. Your condom. Wow. I, I don't know if I carry Summer's Eve, but I'm pretty sure I carry a Vagisil wipe. Sure. Nice. Yeah, similar. Just in case. You got to keep wow. it around. Yeah. Just like just that. In case. Man, just in I case. Just in case you get like a little itchy. Like it's, ne sure. it's not even for like another person. I mean, like it should be. It's like so rude because like I'm in such a serious relationship. <laughs> like I don't care what my vagina is like for Ben. But like, yeah, I'll, I'll do a wipe if it's itchy. But I will say on another girl. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, this is a lot. I have dated women who like to shower before I have sex with them. But like, mm. if I like the way that you smell, like, yeah, let's get like, don't shower, like work yeah. out, get smelly. Like I'm, I'm into it. I get offended because like Ben won't go out, go down on me. If like I, he, if I haven't recently showered, not like just mm. then or whatever, but like, I don't like showering. Who uh, likes showering really? People do. He loves it. He does it like four yeah. times a day. I dated I a guy. Really annoying. Yeah. I dated a guy who had to shower after he shit and after he had yep. sex. <laughs> yep. And That's I, him. Yeah. You dated Ben. I I wish I dated Ben. <laughs> oh, you guys would be so cute together. Wow. Ben, <laughs> give me a call. <laughs> and, but I'll get like offended because I'm like, I w you should like want to go down on me after like a run. I oh, and he's I love he's that. like he's like nobody <laughs> wants that and I'm like I I'm want pretty that. sure there's people who want that. We should talk about this. We should talk about this, Gara. Why don't I talk about s good old stinky veg on? You've our... talked about this. You have talked about this. Well, stinky veg because I, well I was more thinking you you stirred it to the stink. I was more thinking about like hair maintenance because I've been doing a lot of different hair maintenance lately and also like my perspective on hair maintenance has changed since like starting this podcast and also following Gara like wow. because Gara I love and I hope this does not sound creepy but I love <laughs> Gara's body hair situation well thank you like so the much the internet hates it I will I have like moms so from Ohio yeah all of moms from Ohio being like Oh, disgusting. <laughs> and you know what? I know they mean it. I know they're not just mean uh, it. I know this woman was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I hate body hair on anybody. Like if I really? see like a cis dude's armpit, like uh -huh. I am equally grossed out by Gara's armpit. Oh, see, Both I like it. Like I think <laughs> I think Ben's armpits and Gara's armpits are like my two most admirable armpits. Oh my god, I can I be like, like your little simp boy? Can I come live yes, with you in Portland? Of course. Oh have like god, a tiny cupboard that I live in. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I unfortunately cannot ever achieve the armpits because I got mine lasered like like a stupid wow. bitch back in the day because I was like, I was oh. literally thinking who has ever regretted lasering their armpit hair and no Me. one until today. Remy, Me. Remy regretted it. Yeah, I don't regret any lasering of the puss, but sometimes yeah. a little. Does sometimes it stay I away? that's the thing is it's like patchy all the uh, lasering is yeah. patchy so like yeah. there's still gonna be maintenance and like i don't know i like it in the puss area because there's less la razor burn but i would love to be able to grow some nice gara pits see i've i wax so i don't oh and i haven't been waxing because the pandemic and 
while I appreciate the saving the money, I it's I don't like it. You miss that fresh pussy glow? I do. I miss it. Thank you for <laughs> quoting a, did, a joke did of I mine. Did I just make you come? I, I came. <laughs> yes. That's literally how you well, make comics come is you just quote their stand up and right. then they fall in love with you. <laughs> Wait, you you said that fresh pussy glow and I was immediately taken back. I was I'm sitting in New York Comedy Club listening to <laughs> Ashley scream. Fresh pussy yeah. glow. <laughs> That's how it's done. That fresh pussy uh, glow. I don't I'm upset. Okay. <laughs> People like the joke. It's a, it's good, a good joke. Okay. Don't be upset. This is like audio fan art. Yeah. Thank you. Out, Gara, I was saying to Ashley the other day, my favorite fan art of the two of you is Ashley being like an old fucking hag. And it's like, yes. I'm gay and ancient. And then it's like you as a little baby. And it's like, I was born with a wine ago. glass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with a glass of wine. I was like, damn, uh, I'm going to have to do some rethinking <laughs> on your um, brand. Yeah, well, I was just like, wow, I did not know that people thought I drank so much. So yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think people think that that is my favorite. I think I think uh, uh, their name is Trip and uh, they are super cool. Super cool. cool. Yeah. I also I like love the fans. one that was like your face and then my face next to it. But mine just said a cab below it. <laughs> Yes. I don't remember what yours said, but mine just mine said, said Ash. Mine said Ash, as in my name. So you said your name, and mine just said A Cab, which was so much better than my name. At the outset of We're Having Gay Sex, it was supposed to be this podcast about like you being single for the first time and like Correct. sowing your oats and being a slut because you'd been in like serious relationship after serious relationship. How long did it take you into we're having gay sex to um, ruin that? I began recording before <laughs> I released them. So okay. I had a full calendar year of oat sewing. Okay. And then I, I yes. So it took a year, really, in okay. terms of the episodes releasing. But not a year on the podcast. Not a year on the podcast. Mm -hmm. It took maybe like two episodes on <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, it did not go. take long for me to yeah, meet was like jen. hey i'm ashley gavin i'm gonna be a slut hi i'm ashley gavin and this is jen <laughs> well you know what's so cool is like people are really very kind about their relationship yeah. yeah i wasn't i didn't know how people would react um and i think more it's kind of upsetting actually because <laughs> I wish I, I would take it as a compliment if people were like, oh, fuck, Jen. Eh. Oh, but you're like, they don't think I'm hot enough to say. Yeah. Fuck Jen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, this is great. I'm happy. Ashley found someone. It's like, fuck you. Yeah. I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, they they all are happy for you and want to be your third. I could never. I could never. You've had a three. I've never. I would try another one. If I saw Jen be attracted to another person, I would instantly have an anxiety attack wow yeah yeah it would be really hard for me because i think i she is so out of my league i think it would be frightening i'd be like Aww. no 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 mm -hmm. i've like won the lottery here like i know you know yeah she could leave she could she could do better D certainly looks wise <laughs> so what if no. jen was like i have a crush on gara how would you feel then I oh that I would laugh at that. <laughs> You'd be like, get out of my house. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> she joked the other day about some TikTok about threesomes. She joked the other day about should we ask Sam or Gara? Sam Morrison. Sam Morrison. Or Gara to be in our, our threesome. And I was like, Sam Morrison. Because <laughs> yeah, then nobody will touch him. Uh, okay, I think no, that Jen's by. Jen would touch him, and I think I'd rather be penetrated by Sam Morrison than even touch Gara. Oh, what? <laughs> oh there it so is. Mean. No, like because be I honest. said something nice about you, Gara. No, yeah. Gara's like a sibling to me, and even yeah. though Sam is also my, one of my best friends, I just I think I could just close my eyes and get it over with. With mm -hmm. Gara, I would really feel violently ill. 
<laughs> Got it. So this is this is overkill right now. I I was laughing and now I'm thinking I would oh, end up in me? the <laughs> ICU and say so you'd have to bump out some COVID patients and be like, out of this girl's on the edge. We got to get her in there. If she uh, she had a it. sexual experience with Carol Anning. She needs to be in here. Though though I will say like Ashley and I I don't think we've ever touched. Like anytime we even like brush past each other, we're both like stop. <laughs> Yeah, no, when you guys record together, I don't worry about it. (laughs) I'm like, they're in the same room, but mm, they're not touching. It's fine. (laughs) Um, I've asked Ben kind of like, how does he feel dating a bi girl? And he's kind of like, it's chill. Like, that's kind of what you want. Like, you know, not even say that. But like, I feel like that is like the, uh, the fantasy for a straight guy how does it feel as a gay woman dating a bi girl oh yeah Uh, because i have dated straight women before people Mm -hmm. who are primarily closeted yeah i don't even want to speak on behalf of them or why they Mm -hmm. are the way that they are but um that's how it's straight identifying that have sex with women occasionally some people really don't have that much sex with women they just had sex with me or like maybe Mm -hmm. one other woman um Mm -hmm. so i i truly don't know what this curse that i have is but um (laughs) masochism uh, yeah yeah, that's (laughs) probably what it is but uh so i've had some like rough experiences with feeling Mm -hmm. like i'm not enough for them or like whatever so like it's something I've had to work on um and I haven't been good at in the past but with Jen I I don't worry about Jen Jen's loyalty which kind of takes the question like like it's it's just not it's out of the picture you know what I mean so I don't like really think about it and when we talk about it I don't get nervous because I know it would never happen um do uh, but I still feel more jealousy with her like be her male celebrity crush- crushes mm. than her female ones. Mm. Her female ones, I'm like, oh, interesting, or oh, weird. Timothy Chalamet, like if I saw him walking down the street, I'd probably deck him. I'd probably <laughs> try and take him down. I think Actually, I look like you guys have like a very similar said. vibe. Like, chill. tell that to Gara. Gara doesn't believe that. I feel you like don't think that, bro- they look that he could be my brother, no. Timothy you Chalamet. Should- do I don't that, think you guys um, look alike at TikTok all. TikTok where it's like, I think we could do it if we try. You'll be all willowy just like him. And like, <laughs> <laughs> look over your All shoulder. I would have to do is grow a unibrow. If I grew a solid unibrow, people would be like, oh, you kind of look like Timothy Chalamet. Why, do you, on a peach. why does yeah. Ashley look like Timothy Chalamet? I don't understand. Do the understand. same coloring. The same bone structure, same coloring. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I do I not see it that. at all. I could do that face morph into Timothy Chalamet. I guarantee you, if I could figure okay, out how to do the okay. fucking face morph, it's really hard to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do anything on there. Otherwise, I would own that app. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Just kidding. If I wasn't depressed, <laughs> yeah, you're like, that's motivation. why I don't go on it. <laughs> oh my god, I I like spiraled today because there's like a couple people using instagram reels really effectively and it's like uh, massively exploding their following and i was like weird because like my tiktok videos get so many more views than theirs and mm-hmm. then i like posted some of my tiktok videos into the reels which is hard for me because my tiktoks are usually longer but i posted yeah. them in there and they just like get practically nothing and uh, i started i uh i started spinning thinking the only reason i do well on tiktok is because of gay people and then i was like no one likes you but gay people and i started spiraling so that's Um, i mean (sighs) there's gay people on instagram too but i do think the tiktok algorithm it funnels all the gay people into the same area yeah i don't know easier to find yeah and i think once you start popping off in gay tiktok then you get shifted over after enough views you get shifted over to a broader audience and they like my stuff Mm -hmm. too but like, of course, it's like how they- you have to like blow up in Canada first. And then we're like, OK, now you we can yes. introduce you to the U.S. market. Yes. Yeah. yes, exactly. That's that's kind of how I'm handling it. This you is know what you got to do? You know, what you got to do, Ashley Pinterest. That's where all the straights are. All of the straights mm-hmm. from my hometown are all on Pinterest. So you start posting on Pinterest, you'll get the straights. 
You will. I, 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 I'll do it right now. I'll post a <laughs> post picture. Cats. I'll post Pinterest. a picture of cats like a. Cats on Pinterest will bridge the gap. Yeah. I'll post like a, a picture casserole. of a chunky, like a chunky wedge shoe with yeah. just my voiceover of me doing comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Gara, do you have the same experience with the fans where they're happy about your relationship? Or do you guys kind of not talk about it? No, they are. Like, yeah. really happy about it. Which is so funny because I feel like I had, like, a podcast before this, which wasn't very big. But, like, we had, like, a like mini kind of fan base. And they didn't seem to love hearing about my relationship. Right. Yeah. Like, they kind of would act like Jacob didn't exist. But the fans love Jacob. It's absurd <laughs> yeah yeah is, so is is jacob non-binary as well or no he's uh he's my cis daddy he's okay yeah Ew. so that i mean i could see people <laughs> getting not too thrilled about that because i've seen people on tiktok whenever like a bi person or settles for sh a man settles settles for a man they don't like that yeah but that's like that's what's crazy is i think the people who really love jacob are like honestly the people who are kind of in the same boat i am where mm -hmm. either they're non-binary or they're bi or they're pan and they do have a partner who's cis like a cis mm -hmm. straight man and they're just kind of like i want to see these relationships like i yeah. think it's really empowering to me like a couple years ago i saw what really empowered me in my relationship is i saw this like pretty mildly famous uh um trans uh I don't know if they were non-binary or not a uh, trans person dating a mm -hmm. cis man. And it, it validated me so much. Cause I was mm -hmm. like, and they used to call themselves like, like a cutesy gay couple. And I was like, hell yeah. Like that's me. That's yeah. what I want to be. Yeah. No. And that's so not, and it's also like, it just, I think it even more validates sexualities that like lots of things when you like a cis man, because it's like, yeah, I'm clearly dating him for the person. Mm. right you know right. like there's right. so much else against them that like right. if I didn't really like this person I would pick I would pick someone else yeah and you know I get worse flack from like uh acquaintances or people at bars than I do from fans or people online people mm -hmm. like at bars or like people I mildly know kind of feel like they can just like tell me that I'm actually a lesbian and not actually mm -hmm. attracted to my boyfriend which is like true i am i am at the woods i am making out with a hottie <laughs> in the back <laughs> they're like you lesbian but at the same time it you're like yeah, yeah but it, i'm straight too right like well yeah it's just part like part of it right i moonlight <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's I funny they actually hats. they never go after jacob they, they'll usually just go after me for not being like do not use the word dyke. You are not a dyke. Like, mm. that's what I mostly get. Mm -hmm. And so, and you guys are open. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How Were you open going into the relationship? We were uh, closed. <laughs> I don't know why I said closed. Okay. I guess that makes sense. For six months. Yeah. And then we broke up. And then uh, kind of when we got back together, I was just like, I can't get back together unless we're open. And that was you just a conversation that? that well, I was just like, man, I, I want to be with you. This is kind of not trying to be an ultimatum, but it was an ultimatum and was just like, I don't want to pressure you. So I gave him like a lot of time to think mm -hmm. about it. And he came back and he was like, yeah, I, this is what I want. Cause that's another thing too. It's mm -hmm. like, I get stuff from people being like, oh, you, you know, Jacob is, should be allowed to kind of like not have to be with you. I don't know. <laughs> I get that too. Like a lot of judgment of people with my open relationship and me and yeah. how I identify. Well, cause they're like, why should he be attached to you if you have so much leniency? But like, sure. he also has the same amount. Yeah. Like, that's he... kind of the name of the conversation that you guys had. Right. Is like, exactly. if we're going to do this, are you going to be okay with it? And if he had said no, then you wouldn't have done it. It's exactly. not like. And we check in on each other all the time like it's just kind of like an ongoing situation we once mm -hmm. took like a 12 hour drive to Colorado and like we talked about it for 12 hours like that's yeah. just what we do we'll talk about it kind of like every other day it's just mm -hmm. a normal thing how so how long it was like a six month breakup right mm, we broke up were... after six months but we got oh, back okay. together after like a month 
Oh, because you were like, I just want to be with you. I know. He lived like seven blocks away from me and <laughs> we were, like, broken up and I would just walk over to his house and end up sleeping over. And then we'd just be like, eh, still broken up, though. <laughs> and then, ah. We just got back together. <laughs> yeah. So cute. Yeah. Ashley, you could never be open, right? No. Yeah. I have like, uh, I think is if there are, I, the closest thing that I've had to that is I was sort of like dating this girl but like not girl like she wasn't my girlfriend and Mm -hmm. she knew that I was sleeping with other people and I knew she was sleeping with other people but we saw each other very regularly Mm -hmm. and that's the closest I've ever been to I I had I don't think that either I don't know what she wanted but I don't think either one of us wanted to be in a relationship I made it very clear I was like I am uh I'm like seeing a lot of people and that's like what I want to do and I just Mm -hmm. got out of something I think she'd also just gotten out of something Mm-hmm. so yeah but i think yeah. open relationships for people who like it works for or uh, honestly like there can be people that think they're super monogamous too and then there's a partner that just works for them that exactly. they are like oh open with right. you is like something that like i never could have imagined with anybody right. else so totally yeah i think just having those conversations over and over and just like making sure everyone's good yeah, I think it's also hard because I don't think I had a lot of examples growing up of anything like not monogamous. Like I grew mm-hmm. up in a very small town in Iowa and even doing this now, like um, not being monogamous, I'm like, you know, it, will I will I always be this way? Like, is this just mm-hmm. something that I kind of always want? And I mean, that will change over time. But I do think I'm just someone who just monogamy is just it's just not for me. And that's fine. Yeah. And I, th- I think we're learning that that's fine more. I, I did, like, even I was, like, super judgment, not super, but, like, I had this, like, tinge of judgment with open couples because I'm like, oh, they must not be, you know, fulfilling everything right. for each other. Right. Or, like, this must not be as, as valid of a relationship because it's not what we are seeing as, like, rom-com relationship. It's not, like, they got together and then their third arrived or, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. like, you just don't <laughs> see that. Yeah. I think also just open relationships, I think, just ha- get such a bad rap. I, I don't know why I get so much judgment for it out of everything in my life <laughs> that I get judgment for. It. <laughs> the open relationship is the most. I will get it from randos. I'll get it from my family. I'll get it from siblings and friends and Mm -hmm. I just like one I just don't think it's anybody's business and two I've been in horrible monogamous relationships horrible Mm -hmm. no Mm -hmm. one like from the outside everyone was probably like this looks so uh, look at them like they're so beautiful but meanwhile on the inside it was bad Mm -hmm. so like to be in one that's healthy and like good and you know maybe it won't work out but the thing is is I think if it wouldn't work out everyone would be like it's because it was open, which sucks. Like, yeah, they no, say, that's I mean, my understanding, I, I obviously am not in one, but they say, like, the time to have an open relationship is when your relationship is the healthiest it's ever been. Yeah. That's yeah. the time to talk about it. And, you know, I don't know how many people are actually, because relationships are fucking hard, and so everything about relationships can be hard, so I don't know how many people actually implement that rule but like if it's working i think it implies that the relationship is healthy solid you know what I yeah mean? yeah yeah and i would say that the people who are hating on it the most are in unhappy relationships themselves and what they're saying with their judgment is we'd all fucking do that if we could <laughs> right. you know like they're right. just like jealous and pissed like i don't know it reminds me of like when i was like younger and i was like bisexuals are just selfish and i'm like yeah. if you think that it's because you want everyone also you know what i mean yeah. like yeah like you're just mad because you agree yeah i've never understood that perspective that bisexuals are selfish i, I just or like they just want the attention from everyone or attention or like yeah it, it, and yeah i do because i'm attracted <laughs> to right. everyone right. yeah <laughs> And I want all the attention, but I cannot have sex with men. I cannot do it. (laughs) Would you feel very uncomfortable if you had like, okay, say like tomorrow you get promoted to straight TikTok and like all these boys just start falling in love with you. Would you be so uncomfortable? 
Uh, so I've been hit on. I, when I just did this troll cast with this guy, Daniel, I was like, I made sure to look really cute. Okay, great. Because I want, move. I, yeah, I want to look, I want to disarm them. Mm-hmm. But I, and That's I have actually been like, a really good idea. Whenever yeah. I would go on like those right wing podcasts, you know what I'm, those sure, shows, yeah. I'd be yeah. like, sure, sure, sure. tits up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You want to look hot. Um, cause they're not, they're certainly not expecting it, especially Mm-mm. from, from me, but, uh, yeah, I, um, don't know how I've had men flirt with me and usually it takes me like a very long time to figure out that it's even happening. So if I yeah. get it, if I, if I figure it out in the moment, that's only happened to me one time. And I literally started laughing. Like I, <laughs> I started laughing out loud and I like looked at my own outfit and I, this was like, just like peak, peak, sad, gay for me. Like I wore, sure. I had these like men's shorts from like mm-hmm. J crew with like, mm-hmm. like probably some animal, little animal yeah, prints yeah, yeah. on mm-hmm. them and like, I had Crocs on and like Whoa. also probably like Whoa. a men's like Nantucket polo Reds. style. Yeah, like just like really <laughs> weird combination, horrible hair, horrible eyebrows, just like the gayest that I've ever looked like in a bad way. And um, he was hitting on me and I just started laughing and I like looked down <laughs> at myself. Like I literally checked to Whoa. see if it was me in the outfit like, that I do thought you I would see what I see. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I I was like, and I, he ended up, I tried to tell him that I was not, I remember trying to get those words out, but he just ended up writing his number and his name down on a piece of paper and he handed it to me and I just like took it and I was like, all right, I guess, bye. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Luke, Luca. Shout out to Luca. (laughs) Luca. Um, yeah, I don't know. I find it way easier to have girls be attracted to me than boys. Even if I like boys, but like boys on the internet that find us attractive, I find scary. Mm. Oh yeah. When men comment on my, I mean, that's just, I'm also just like, what, why, like, why, what are you, what are you getting out of this? (laughs) (laughs) I do think there's something about men who are attracted to lesbians slash like Mm -hmm. women with masculine energy. They are interesting. (laughs) They're interesting men. I think they're better. I like them too. Yeah. Yeah, Jacob and I have, I've said this before, but Jacob and I have the same celebrity crushes, Ellen Page and Carrie Brownstein. And that overlap (laughs) is pretty great. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I, um, I respect Ben for dating a woman with like an androgynous face a lot of Mm, the times. mm. Cause like, yeah, I look cute with makeup, but without it, it's like, that's a Malfoy. (laughs) that's a that's a boy malfoy you've got good bone structure i i mean like i guess i have a man face too yeah and so anybody who would be into you has great taste (laughs) um okay yeah ashley we already have your first time coming story in the episode last season so oh my god did we talk about that i think we did oh I have like no recollection. I don't either, but I ask everybody. I'm I'm sure I answered. So I'm sure it was on there, yeah. But Gara, I don't have your first time coming story on the record. Can you tell everybody how that went down? How Hell old yeah. were you? What was well, going on? I'm really proud of my first coming story. It's mm-hmm. a very good one. And I was 17. And it was the summer of when I was 17, which at the end of that summer, I kind of did that like end of a movie thing where I looked back at the summer and went, man, what a crazy summer. (laughs) (laughs) I really kind of like rode my bike like into the sunset and the narrator was like, Gary Lonning then died three years later. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, I, it was great. And I, that whole summer was like hooking up with one of my friends, uh, Mm -hmm. 
uh, I'll just call her Meredith, which is the only name that's coming to my mind. I was hooking okay. up with my friend Meredith, who was dating my best friend, Paul. Paul's name I don't make up. He's in <laughs> multiple podcasts. He's just this okay. figure that. Um, hey, uh, Paul. Hi, Paul. <laughs> He's going to love this. Um, okay, so I was hooking up with uh, his girlfriend Meredith they were open and we were okay. directing a play um that year and um we I we'd hooked up once um at Paul's house <laughs> and then um finally we we wanted to hook up one night we we're like we don't know where to go so we ended up driving to our community theater and using our keys um that we had as directors and we went mm -hmm. to the costume shop and I laid down like t-shirt like t-shirt on mm -hmm. <laughs> poo bear in it if you will yeah laying on this like cold like frigid I can still remember how cold my ass was on this ground <laughs> it's like dirty ground also if anyone from back home hears this just keep it to yourself it's not a big deal um yeah. I was laying on the costume shop floor and I remember like looking up and the times we had uh, hooked up, I wouldn't let her make me come. I just would like okay. freak out and just be like, no, I, and I had hooked up with people before that, but Meredith was the first girl I'd ever hooked up with. And okay, like lying on this ground and she's going down on me. We never kiss. I never did anything to her and she was going down on me. And I just remember looking up at this bright light and just like coming so hard. Oh my God. Yeah. And then I was like, kind of like hopped up, put my pants on. I was like, that was awesome. <laughs> Do you remember any specific technique or it was just like, yeah, I was about to ask. I think at that point I had, I had been with guys who were just so bad at it. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, I don't know, not obviously, but like she was just so good. She had hooked up with like so many people, including mm -hmm. my friend Paul and like, I guess just hung up top. I don't know. <laughs> that's what I, that's just like all I top. needed. Yeah. 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 And consistency. Definitely. It like only, it was like two minutes. I'm not even kidding. I came in wow. like two minutes. Yeah. That is something I will say about the bad head that I've gotten from guys who even seem like they're trying very hard is that they just change it up way too often. Mm. Like, so they'll like go from the top to like yeah. sucking to like, like licking your thighs or whatever, and you're like, wait, just like, just wait, like right. on one thing. I yeah. just it, this probably will sound bad, but like, I just use the same standard approach to like every woman going in, like just it's, mm -hmm. but just like literally like a metronome in my head, and like okay. if that usually eventually they, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't. Typically what is the standard take, approach? Like, I just, I literally just, like, lick, like, like, like a broad, flat tongue. Yep. Just, like, up, the bottom, from the base That's, of the clit, up, like. They don't to, know about the broad, flat tongue to, uh, either. They don't know about that? They yeah, don't know about it. broad, flat tongue is pretty great. Yeah, I. Oh That's not what people will start with. That's what I, I have never no. thought to do it any guys, other way. Guys do it like that, like pointy right gara oh i mean the fuck i just point in the tongue like the very like because that's what they see oh like that as like yeah. the motion i Though guess i will say the like my boyfriend now i've never had this good of head ever i don't know what I'm it is not, i not i don't hate on jacob okay, <laughs> okay. he's <laughs> different but, like once you once you start learn, once you start learning a partner then you can like throw in some variation sure, that you yeah, know yeah, that yeah. they're but like as actually a piece, you gotta teach a, a class yeah you gotta help these guys these I don't poor guys that I'm that good. oh for men it's like dead poet society you're like robin williams <laughs> um thank you uh r.i.p um but is that the one where it's like it's not your one. fault no that's goodwill hunting oh okay you can be that too <laughs> you can be that <laughs> Robin Williams I, I as can't. well. It is your fault that she's yeah, not coming. Yeah, it is your fault. Flat tongue. <laughs> it is. But I just don't understand. Like, uh, whatever. Uh, but well, I, I don't know don't where that comes from. they don't have a pussy. So they don't know if it I feels guess. like, I guess. 
and but yeah. even the first time I went down on someone that was like I, I made a lot of mistakes that time but like that was not one of the mistakes that I made what were the mistakes I don't know made? how I knew oh I just rather than just like keeping my mouth open I mm. um rested my top teeth oh on yeah you talked about <laughs> this yeah yeah, yeah yeah <laughs> so, kind of like uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> and uh it's like when a kid is trying to drink a Gatorade bottle oh by God. putting the whole cap in they're like ah. yes and like I did the motion I think I did the motion correctly I just don't know why I thought that I needed to rest that I wouldn't have the neck strength to like keep my head <laughs> sure, yeah <laughs> yeah you so need a stupid. neck hammock I redeemed myself <laughs> yeah exactly I redeemed myself though with that girl I did so good years yeah later. Can I be honest, though? I do think, though, like, like the times that I've been bad at going down on people with vaginas, I feel like I've taken the feedback and been like, okay, I'll learn from this. I feel like sometimes when I've given men feedback, unfortunately, cis men feedback, it's kind of been like they don't take they don't take the the deafest of ears. Yep, they don't take that. note. So that was one TikTok I made that like semi blew up and they took it down because for like adult nudity and I like wasn't nude at all. Mm -hmm. But it was about giving tips during head and how people don't take them and just keep doing what they've done for other people because they're like, oh, I just assume this works. And I feel like more often than not that is happened or that happened to me with like straight guys, not with bi guys. Bye guys are great ahead. I once I've dated this woman who like really needs you to go side to side. Like that's like mm-hmm. th- the best way for her. And she's the only person that I've ever gone down on who like had that be true. But like she only had to tell me that like one time. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I was like, OK. Yeah. Great. I don't know why <laughs> people womb havers seem to take it more womb havers <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny we usually say vulva havers but womb havers is like it's the thing now um yeah i don't know why we seem to take like direction better and why they just take it as like like rhetorical do you think, do you think they're hearing it i, I know that know. sounds weird but like do you think at what point in the information processing journey do we think they don't imp- like are they not thinking when they go down there like like oh i'm not taking you know what i mean like when does mm-hmm. the ignoring start i think I when you start dating them <laughs> i don't know all <laughs> all the guys who have been bad at taking critiques are like bad at taking critiques with everything like if i was like oh you missed yeah. your turn he's like no i didn't i was i was yeah. actually planning on going this way so you were wrong and it's like wow should have should have called this one earlier it's just like who they are in every aspect of life yeah 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 and i i do think women are like kind of trained to and or w- any kind of womb haver is trained to be more uh like what's it called coddling and like oh or, oh yeah or um malleable like we're just given directions a lot totally Mm. i think though Mm. also like over time like being kind of like having a bad reaction from someone like even like from my dad or even like from other men in my life of like being every time every time my dad went down on me i (laughs) (laughs) i'm sorry i could not do it no you're fine (laughs) i knew it was coming but like yeah i think I think you're just trained over time, like living with men like that. Cause yeah. I will say it's not all men. <laughs> no, and it's definitely not. And, and that's like the toxic men always ruin everything for the good men too. But yeah, if you have a man in your life where people are just like, yep, that's just the way he is. Or oh, right. It's like. Right. Yeah. It's people being complacent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Completely. Yeah. yeah in the midwest um, it's like anxiety like they'll say like oh he's just anxious it's like no <laughs> he actually go to therapy. sucks yeah what? exactly yeah. Hmm? yeah um all right guys thank you so much for being here this has been a blast i feel like i just love you more and more every day oh thank you You're the feeling is mutual yeah same um, 
Thanks, guys. Uh, can you tell all of our listeners where they can find you online and then where they could find your podcast? Ashley, go first. Uh, our podcast is We're Having Gay Sex. It's on mm -hmm. all of the things. We only have our individual handles. I'm I'm Ashgavs on everything, and I'm Ashgavs Comedy on TikTok. Nice. Yeah. Gara. And I am just at Gara ra, ra, ra on Instagram. Uh, just start typing G A R A R A. Someone told me the other day it wasn't actually that hard to find. So, but yeah. yeah, it's not hard to find. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of hard to find, you guys, we're going to be doing an overhaul. How come is becoming how k apostrophe mm, so that you might be able to find us <laughs> or asterisk, not apostrophe, uh, on iTunes because we're sick of being losers. We want you to find us. And wow. Yeah. We're gonna I've thought about it, that, too. Yeah. What are you going to bleep out? The sex? E yeah, the E in sex, yeah. I think, would be. Wow, that's so nuts. I know, yeah. it's annoying. But yeah, if you see our artwork changing, woohoo! We're how, hmm, now. And uh, <laughs> we hope you can support us still. Um, you guys, this has been so wonderful. Um, mm -hmm. I just have to ask you both, because I have to ask everybody this after a sexual experience, because this has been a sexual experience. Yeah. Um, Ashley, Gara, did you finish? I'm, I don't know if you guys noticed. I am, I got hit with a wave of serious <laughs> tired, serious tired. Yeah. So I don't yeah. think that I, I, I'm just tired. I gotta, I gotta roll over <laughs> and sleep this off. But it's cause you came so much. No, Remy, I didn't. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wow. try anything. I is there anything I can do? It's not. It's not you. It's me. I. I obviously mm. the cat started meowing at eight in the morning this morning for food, mm. and okay. I had a late night last night. And look, I. I love doing podcasts with you, but like not every time not anymore. I'm not gonna. No, I. <laughs> we can. Tr we can try again tomorrow. But like, okay. I just. I need to get a better night's sleep. Okay, let's try again at your place next time. Okay. On, we're having gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sounds um, good. We'll, we'll try again another time. And maybe, hey, you guys, if um, if people have questions for you, can we have you back on the Patreon? Maybe. Mm. I would love to do that. Yeah, that'd be great. Right. Then we'll try and finish there. But Gara, did you finish? Mm. I finished within like the first three minutes, and it's kind of <laughs> just been like a steady stream of coming this what whole I time like to hear that's thank it you you're welcome Disgusting. thank you um you guys thank you so much for coming yeah thank you this is great <laughs> why are you laughing you, <laughs> i'm trying to didn't. think of a joke i'm i'm like genuinely slow like i don't it's know what happened but, but some sometime like 15 20 minutes in i was like oh i'm the tired. editing is gonna make this podcast like so zippy yeah i know i know you don't I'm have sorry to be I didn't smart bring my anymore game. i didn't either <laughs> No, I thought it's this was great. I think it was fine. No, I thought this was awesome. This is, what, this is what Gara always says. I'm like, oh, I wasn't that good. And then Gara's like, you were great. Yeah, that's yeah. our dynamic, too. Is I'm always like, this was horrible. And Robin's like, just <laughs> fucking edit the thing. No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love having Robin in here. It's honestly, like, truly great to kind of, like, look over at someone just, like, smiling the whole uh, time and laughing at your bits yeah and you're yeah. like oh that was we need, funny can we I need one of off? those yes she's like the, instead of a youth in the booth she's like a kindergarten teacher in the corner <laughs> that's just yeah. like smiling and being like you're doing great corner. yeah you're doing great <laughs> i love it mm -hmm. um all right guys thank you for coming and we will see you next time on how come goodbye say goodbye you can't bye wait. bye <laughs> 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 no but say it cheerfully bye bye Okay, yay. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. I try so hard to finish honestly. They say you'll know when you go all the way from A right down to O. Oh no, I think that I still got a ways to go. Oh, oh. I'm sick of this and I have got to know How come? How come? How 
How come I can't achieve? How come I can't achieve? I'm rolling up my sleeves. I'm rolling up my sleeves. Oh, baby, I believe these guests can help. Cause I can't do it by myself. I wanna just.